G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So today is going to be a bit of a general update. We did a, um, a focal video last week, so I thought I'd just give you a general update and there's been a lot going on, so it's probably timely. Uh, so first of all, we're going to talk about um, my joining of the gym and then we're going to talk about my jogging. Um, but before we get started, if this is your first time on the channel, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I release new videos every Tuesday, although today is Wednesday. I was a bit late due to an illness. Um, where I pretty much cover a no BS approach to the things that work and don't work with, with getting started with weight loss. So, you know, I've been on this journey for about five months now. I've lost 23 odd kilos. Um, you know, and, and I've found uh, as I've learned more and more about health and fitness that there's probably more BS in the market than there is truth, uh, which is an unfortunate reality. Um, but, but really this is, this channel's designed to be the best place, not just to track my own personal journey uh, through weight loss and fitness, but also to, to, um, to give you the information you need to get up off that couch and, and stop resembling it. Um, you know, if you've been, you know, thinking about starting your journey for the last 10, 20 years like I was, uh, or I did, um, but never seemed to be able to sum up the motivation to get started, this is a great place to get started. So, uh, if you like the video, if you get some use out of it, then please uh, subscribe, hit that like button on the video itself, uh, leave me a comment, I reply to everyone's comments. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. So first of all, um, I'm actually having to re-record this. I, I had a bit of a shocker of a day yesterday, to be honest with you. Um, it just seemed that everything that could go wrong did go wrong. And it ended with me doing a video uh, where I tried to cut to a couple of small videos I took throughout the week from my GoPro uh, and they just didn't work. So um, first of all, it ended up being like a 30 minute video, which frankly, you know, people stop watching after 10 minutes, no matter how long the video is anyway. Uh, unless it's super interesting content. Um, and, and that's not this channel to be blunt. Um, yeah, and, and I, I, one of the videos I recorded was from my GoPro at night in the car park outside the gym. And basically the only thing you could see is my car lights. And they were like a, the sun flaring in the background. It was grainy as hell uh, and just didn't work. Uh, the second video, I was dumb enough to put the camera on a tripod on the table that I was using to put the stuff on that I was talking about. And so you just got bang after bang after bang. It pretty much drained out the audio. So uh, and I promise you next week, there'll be some something a little bit more, more interesting than just watching me talk in front of a green screen. Um, it's been a while since I've cut to anything. Uh, and it's a bit frustrating that it didn't work out. But, you know, you get that when you get that. So, um, Jim. I finally joined the gym uh, with my gym buddy, Paul. Uh, Paul's been going to the gym for years and years and years. He is um, quite stacked. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of trust that he knows what he's doing. Uh, obviously, if I can get anywhere near the results that he's gotten, then I'll be a happy camper. Um, but we started last Tuesday. It's currently Wednesday morning. Um, we started last Tuesday with a killer of a session. Uh, I don't know if it's representative of all of our sessions yet, um, cause I've only done the one session with him, uh, which I'll get into. Um, but the first session was two hours long and it focused exclusively on triceps and pecs and it killed me. We did, uh, five exercises focusing on those two muscle groups alone, uh, mostly isolated work. Um, you know, we did some, some bench, uh, with dumbbells instead of a barbell, um, just to, to help build up stabilizing muscles. Um, we did tricep pull downs. We did two different types of tricep pull downs. One's one with a bar, like a metal metal bar. Uh, the other with a rope. Um, we did some flies. We did um, were they flies? They were. They, it was a fly machine, but it was um, tricep. Uh, sorry, uh, pectoral focused. Um, did a few other things. So we, we did a total of five exercises. We did five sets of eight reps for each exercise. And two hours later, I was destroyed. Uh, the next two or three days, um, <clears throat> my pecs were killing me. So at least I know I, I got some good out of it. Anyway, went back to the gym a couple of days later, uh, as we'd planned, uh, it was Wednesday night. Um, and unfortunately he had to cancel on me at the last minute. He got a call in from work. We both work in jobs where you never know when you're going to have to work late until it's, until it's late, basically. Um, then he, he sent his wife as a replacement, um, coach. Uh, and 
then she got stuck in a traffic jam. So uh, there was a nasty accident on the, on her way home. Thankfully, she wasn't in it. Thankfully, no one no one was seriously injured, but it did mean that she canceled too. So uh, I ended up going in by myself. I worked uh, on my back and biceps. I guarantee you I didn't work as hard as if Paul had been there because the guy's just a, a machine when it comes to pushing, um, which, is, which is good, which is exactly what you want out of a gym buddy. Um, but yeah, so I did two sessions last week. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, um, uh, the following week. Now I haven't managed to get back to the gym yet. I've got biceps and back, um, tonight, and then I'll do, um, I'll do back to, to triceps and pecs. Uh, and at some point we need to do a legs day. Um, although, uh, that segues quite well into my jogging regime. Um, although, you know, when, when it comes to legs day, I'm not sure I actually need it at the moment because my legs are like jelly at the moment, thanks to the jogging. So that's the gym. Um, the plan is to go three or four days a week uh, with Paul. We'll see how that pans out. Uh, he certainly, like I said, he certainly gets results. So hopefully I'll start to see something similar. Uh, and that, that takes us to jogging. So, you know, on this channel, I've said numerous times that I hate cardio. Frankly, I don't understand people that enjoy it. Um, but I have accepted that if I want to get the results that I'm, I'm looking for, uh, particularly now that I'm doing um, weight training, I need to do some cardio. I need to improve my fitness. I need to improve, um, you know, my consumption of, of, of calories or carbohydrates. So my energy consumption throughout the day uh, to create a bigger deficit. Um, and in fact, I think next week's episode, we'll talk just about running. Uh, and my experiences so far. Um, but I'm, what, five days in? I ran Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now it's Wednesday, so five days in. Um, I've got to say, I don't know if I'd, I'd quite say I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying um, getting to the finish line. And to be honest, the, the goal of me starting cardio uh, was to cross the starting line. Uh, once I'm out the door and I've started, I won't stop until I hit whatever the target is for the day. So. I started with um, just under 5Ks on, on Saturday uh, and then pushed it to 5Ks on Sunday uh, and then I did another five on Monday and Tuesday and then this morning and I've just gotten back. I think I've been back for an hour now just to cool down and stop sweating because no one wants to see that on camera. Um, I just got back from a 10K run, which I've got to say is a hell of a lot longer than I had in my head that 10Ks was. When you start to map it out, so I mapped it out on an app um, so that I could figure out a 10 kilometer circuit that starts and finishes at my house without having to basically go 5Ks to a point, turn around and come back the same way. I wanted to do a proper circuit where I didn't see the same road twice. Um, and yeah, it pretty much circles the suburb. I mean, that you know, I'm sure that's not quite true, but it certainly feels like I'm, I'm pretty much running around the entire suburb. Um, the first 5Ks was great. The second 5Ks, I must admit, I, I, I pretty much walked more than I jogged. But having said that, the average pace over that 10Ks, and I'll, th I'll throw some pictures up, because um, no one wants to look at my ugly mug longer than they have to, um, of, of my progress day by day over the last five days. But uh, my, my pace for the 10K, my um, per kilometer pace was actually faster than any pace that I'd done in the last four days before it on 5K runs. So I'm actually pretty happy with the outcome, but mainly I'm happy to have said that I've done the 10K. Uh, whether or not I'll add that to uh, a weekend jog on a regular basis, I don't know. My goal here is actually um, pretty well aligned with something that I haven't talked about on this channel and probably should have, and that's the name of the channel, Perfecting Pete. Now, I, I spitballed maybe 20, 25 names for the channel before I settled on Perfecting Pete. Uh, I spoke to a couple of people, uh, a couple of friends that I trust, um, you know, to get some advice and their thoughts. And I settled on Perfecting Pete for a very specific reason. And, and that is that I'm really only looking to become the, a, a better version of myself. You know, I'm, I'm gold. I'm internally motivated to be a better version of the, the, the self that I've always been. I'm not comparing myself to anyone else. Um, you know, as much as is possible, I try not to give a shit about what anyone else thinks or says. Um, really, this is just about me. This is about improving my fitness, my health, my well-being. Um, <clears throat> you know, and to do what I've been thinking about and talking about for 20 odd years that my friends had essentially, you know, dismissed me as, yeah, that's all he does is talk about it. 
Uh, I wanted to prove to myself that I could actually do it. Um, so that's why I've called the channel Perfecting Pete. Uh, it's, it's about trying to perfect myself and knowing that that goal, I'll, I'll never be the best version possible of myself. There's always something to strive for. So that's why I've called the channel what I have. And, and that's also why I'm now jogging. I'm, it probably sounds a bit strange, but you know, from my perspective, I think that every time I finish a run, I'm a slightly better version of myself than when I started the run, or if I'd never done it at all. So, you know, the 5K runs, uh, I get back and I'm sweating and I'm huffing and puffing. Um, you know, I go and drink a liter of water, but I know, I feel like I've achieved something. Haven't hit that endorphin rush people talk about yet, uh, or maybe I haven't, didn't even notice it. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm going through that much uh, uh, pain through adjusting on the leg muscles that I'm not even feeling that rush yet, but we'll see what happens. So my plan at the moment, beyond three or four days a week of gym, um, is to jog at least five times a week. I'm, what I'm trying to do, I'm on holidays this week, so uh, I'm at a stay at home holiday. I'm looking after a couple of pets for a friend um, while she's away uh, on a holiday. So, and I needed a break from work. So, so basically I'm just trying to build up my endurance and the rhythm and routine, uh, and also my confidence so that I can get out there at, you know, between six and 6.30 in the morning um, before work, get home at 7, 7.15, cool down, shower, and be out the door dressed in a suit by eight. So, so that's really what I'm using this week for. That's why I'm pushing myself. But ultimately, between five and seven days a week jogging, uh, between three and four days a week at the gym, that's kind of the balance I've planned at the moment, but um, I need to find that balance too. So that might change with experience, I don't know. So anyway, that's my general update. Um, just on, on, in terms of weight loss, <clears throat> excuse me, I am confident that my weight loss over the last couple of days has primarily been due to, to uh, water weight loss. Um, having said that, you know, I plateaued at around the 89, 90K mark um, for the last three weeks. Yesterday, I weighed in at 88.8, which was an all time low. Uh, and this morning I weighed in at 87.8. So at least it's moving in the right direction. I don't know if it's gonna stabilize again. I don't know if it's gonna keep dropping. I don't know. I mean, particularly given I'm building muscle mass too. So I should actually start putting on weight faster than I'm losing it. Um, but my body shape will continue to change and my, my composition will continue to change. So, you know, I'm, I'm not focusing so much on the number. I am tracking it on a daily basis just to, to keep an eye on it, but um, I'm not stressing about it either. So that's my update um, for the week. I'm sorry the video was delayed an extra day. Um, there's probably only two or three people that will actually care that it was delayed an extra day, but <clears throat> I like to do what I say I do. So when I say I release a video every Tuesday, I wanna make sure I release it every Tuesday. So my apologies for that, for the, for the delay. Um, again, um, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So if you've enjoyed the video, if you've gotten some use out of it, um, if it's given you a bit of motivation, I would strongly recommend to get out there and, and just start don't run. So when I talk about running in this episode, I'm really not running. I'm not running in the way that you picture running like a marathon runner. Um, I'm jogging slowly until I get to a point where my, um, you know, the breathing has taken over. Um, it's in control. Uh, and then I'll start walking until I'm in control of my breathing. And then I'll start jogging again. And I've actually noticed even in five days that the distance that I can jog before I have to start walking is um, getting longer and longer. So my ultimate goal really on a 5k run is to be able to jog the whole 5k's. And it's not on a treadmill. I've, I've noticed um, that, you know, running on a treadmill is considerably easier than in real life when you're on the road, uh, where you've got hills to deal with, where you've got, you know, un, uh, unstable ground or not unstable ground, but you know, not flat. Um, so I've noticed that I'm significantly stronger on a, a treadmill than I am running on the road, which is why I'm running on a road. I kind of want to push, push that. So, um, that's all I wanted to talk about. If you've gotten some use out of the video, if it's motivated you to get started, get out there and start walking. That's all I recommend is just start walking. If you're not, if you don't feel fit, if you don't feel physically able, just go for a walk for half an hour a day. Um, you know, and if you feel like jogging, jog until you don't want to do it anymore and then start walking. And if that's the only jog you do on that trip, cool. Uh, and then the next day, push yourself to maybe do the same jog and then towards the end of, of the circuit, 
um, jog again for a minute or two. You don't have to start where you plan to end. That's the whole point. You kind of just need to see progress on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you stick at it, I promise you, you will see results. Anyway, hit that like button if you got some use out of the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see the, um, updates every Tuesday on my own weight loss journey uh, and all the tips and tricks I pick up on fitness and weight loss along the way. Um, again, it's a no BS approach. So if, uh, if I find something that doesn't work, I will call it out. And next week, we're going to talk about how much how many issues I've had with the Nike Run Club app, but also why I'm persevering with it. Um, so there's just one little piece that we'll be talking about in, in terms of the no BS approach. Um, that's it. Check me out on, on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, they're both essentially clones of each other. So pick one or the other, whatever your social media platform of choice is. Uh, I'll throw the links up again in a sec. Um, and I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.